MTB Modic. I'm here on my porch. It's where I do reviews. Thanks for sitting through that cheesy 1990s intro. Hope you liked it. Anyways, today we're gonna to be reviewing the Demon XD30. These are them. I've had them for close to a year now. Um, never heard of Demon before. I guess they've been around for 20 years. Um, the more I did my homework, I guess they have a solid base and protective gear. They're out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And they do snowboarding gear, uh, bomb biking, BMX, you name it. So I randomly found these for 59 bucks on Amazon and bought them because I was sick and tired of my Fox Launch Pros. I had, to be fair, the knee and shin combo that weren't slide-ons. They were the ones that had the straps that went around. Um, they made, they felt really solid. They had a nice protective hard shell on the outside. They went all the way down your shin. For that, they were awesome. But those straps around the back, and I got them an extra large, and these are extra large. I'm a big guy. Um, every single time I went on a ride since day one, they literally would just slowly work your way down your leg the entire time. So I would take one run at the downhill park that I was volunteering at, and literally by the time I was getting to the bottom, I was one-handed doing this action, and no bueno. I don't know how many times I almost crashed, and I would just get pissed off, and I'll get to the point where I don't even wear them. So I was looking for something that would stay on my leg, and I thought about getting something that was not as big and bulky. I know Fox makes an enduro knee pad that I guess does slide on your leg, I have not had those, to be fair. But I found these on Amazon. They looked great. Uh, they come with the side protectors here, which if you take a look closer, you can actually see the protection on the side as well as the front. So what I can say is that it honestly really protected me. I've had them for a year. I've gone down multiple times. Never had a problem with my knees whatsoever. Doesn't mean there's the perfect knee pad. I don't think there is such a thing. Any sort of protective gear is limited. Let's be real. I mean, you could hit that one spot where there's no padding or whatever, but overall, I felt that these have done the job. Furthermore, they don't slide down your damn leg. I can't stress that enough. I've gone on 12 mile rides on super humid days where I'm literally soaked like I jumped into a swimming pool and these things stay on my legs in the right position. It's amazing. No matter how great those Fox uh, pads were that I had before, what good are they when they're freaking sliding on your leg and they're not in the right position? So if you go down, you're going to be getting hurt anyway. So I'm a really big fan of that. Also, they're comfortable. I, I put them on and they're on. And I'm doing my thing. I'm in the backyard digging. I still have these on. So I got to say that comfort-wise, way more comfortable than those other pads. Still, I mean... They do what they're intended to do for a fraction of the cost of like POCs, for example, which are like 160, 200 bucks. My only qualm with them, I guess, is they don't have a hard protective covering on the outside, whereas uh, a lot of the other pads do. But I went down on them multiple times. I can honestly say they protected me and they've done their job. So if you're in the market for some knee pads, I hope you consider these. Um, they were really well priced for a biker on a budget like me. I got a kid on the way. I've never been a rich guy anyway. I'm trying to save every penny I can and let's face it, mountain biking is a really expensive sport and it's a sport for wealthy people. And if you're not that, it's tough to find quality gear on the cheap. And I can honestly say these Demon knee pads have been awesome for a year, a year. There's almost no wear on them. I'm on my knees digging up roots, rocks, and they're just solid pads. They're built really well. So I thought I'd pass that info along, take it with it what you will, and thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Oh, and one more thing, if this video helps you at all, if you like the pads or anything I do, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm looking to build a little bit of a base. Um, it would really help me out. Thank you. Take care.